Hello all, uh, welcome to the video. In this video, uh, we will see convolution of any function with a delta function. Suppose say uh, we have a function called x of t. So what happens if we convolve it with delta function, say del of t. So we will see what is this property means in this video. Uh, if we convolve any function with delta function, it remains same. So uh, the first property is if we convolve x of t with del of t, we will get x of t. Okay, because uh, since delta function is nothing but this is a del of t, and uh, our function may be anything like this, say this is x of t. So if we convolve x of t with del of t, it is just an identity factor. So x of t, if we convolve with x of del of t, will remain same. The signal will retain its original uh, what is the uh, shape. Okay. Uh, and also we can generalize this. So if x of t is convolved with time shifted delta function, then our original signal also will shift by same amount. X of t minus t naught. So x of t can always tell of t minus t naught is equal to x of t minus t naught. And the third property is the x of t can evolve with k del of t. This will be k times x of t. So this k is a scaling factor where k is equal to scaling factor. So these are the three properties of which we encounter while solving any problems in building function with a delta function that is convolution of function with a delta function so we will see one example which makes which makes use of all these properties so let's consider this example so uh, the question is what is the value of del of t convolved with 2 times del of t minus 1 which is convolved with 3 times del of t minus 2 as we all know convolution holds good uh, associative property that is we can make use of associative property it means first we can calculate del of t all with 2 times del of t minus 1 first calculate this and then convolve it with 3 times del of, minus, uh, del of t minus 2 so first we will see what happens this, uh, this what is the value of this convolution so let us take this as consider this as x of t and with this we will take it as a delta function. So this is k. So x of t convolved with k times uh, del of t minus 1 is equal to first we will retain that k uh, factor here. So x of t convolved with del of t minus 1 will be x of t minus 1 but here our x of t is equal to del of t right so what is the value so this will be 2 times del of t minus 1 okay so we got this value here so next what we will do i uh, will convert this 2 times del of t minus 1 into 3 times del of t minus 2 so this will be first multiply the k factor this will be 6 and then make uh, this as x of t and uh, we will treat this as a delta function itself like um, this is a delta function only time shifted so what happens if we convert x of t with time shifted delta function say we will generalize this x of t del of t minus convert with del of t minus t naught is equal to x of t minus t naught ok here t naught is 2 this is t naught. So this will be x of t minus t naught. Now x, x of t minus 2. Right, this is 2. But our uh, x of t is del of t minus 1. So it will be del of t minus 1 minus 2. Because uh, x of t is del of t minus 1. So this is del of t minus 2. So convolving with x or del of t minus 1 with 
del of t minus 2 is del of t minus 3. So this is the this value of this root size. So this is 6 of L of P minus 3. So that's how we make use of this property. Okay. Uh, we'll solve two more examples in the next video. Thank you. Please subscribe.